Hey, metalheads, welcome to a very special episode of Metal Academics here with a battle between between Metallica and Orbit Culture, which is introduced by none other than ANP React. So <laughs> nice to have y'all on. Thanks so much for taking the time. It's Thank awesome. you for having us on the channel. Yeah. I mean, I know that most viewers watching uh, our channel will be very familiar with A and B as it was one of the inspirations us, for us to start uh, our own reaction channel. So this is uh, super cool. We're very excited. And uh, I, I think uh, we're trying to get you excited about this idea of a battle of the band. This is something that uh, we came up with. And the whole concept is to take uh, a song and then describe its qualities and then compare it to another song and see what is the interesting part that other bands saw in the original and how they transformed it or they read some other things into it and made it a, you know, a good enough cover to be worthy of a battle. So that's kind of the concept. And, um, and this one has been chosen by y'all. So yeah. maybe you want to give us a bit of an introduction into why this would be a good battle. Who are the bands? I mean, he, this guy is wearing Orbit Culture t-shirt. So you know where his vote is going yeah. to go. <laughs> 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 not, not bias at all. Not bias at all. Uh, the, the, reason I, uh, the reason I picked these, these bands, even without checking with him, is because we're both huge fans of Orbit Culture. I mean, I grew up listening to Metallica. But um, we're huge fans of Orbit Culture. And, and I think Orbit Culture could easily be the Metallica of this generation to what Metallica was to my generation. They're a super talented band. They're from Sweden. Uh, I don't think you can define them under one genre. because oh, no. They're their own genre. Yeah, they're pretty much their own. Like, some songs are more melodic death metal. Some songs have some thrash influence. Some have death influence, death metal influences. So there's, there's a lot there. They don't fall under just one umbrella. So because they're super creative, new band, putting out incredible music, I figure this is a way for fans of Metallica to discover Metallica version 2.0. This is very cool because uh, I think coming from the, the US, I mean, Metallica is such a it's, a, it's a gateway into other forms of metal. So for me, it was like Metallica was what we heard on, you know, sometimes on the radio with like Enter Sandman, and then you would maybe get into Iron Maiden. And I think I'm not alone in that, that, once you're an Iron Maiden, then you go down the, the kind of deeper rabbit hole of metal. So it's very interesting to hear you say that uh, Orbit Culture might be the, the new version of that. It's also yeah, very exciting that they're from Sweden because we send uh, we send from from southern Sweden Malmo Lund, which is like a another another nice uh, connection with Orbit Culture. You know this uh, nice touch. <laughs> yeah, basically, Orbit Culture is Metallica with a better drummer. <laughs> maybe 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 a better a better vocalist. Okay, maybe that's that's overstepping. Maybe I mean he has the potential. Better uh, range. Better range. Oh, yeah. Better my range. My God, I'm very excited for this battle. Killer roots. Killer roots. Yeah. The Danes on the, the watching maybe take issue with that drummer comment, but uh, <laughs> maybe let's uh, let's go right into the uh, the Metallica version first. I think. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so we're listening to Hardwired by Metallica. Do you guys know the year in which it was uh, released? 2016. 2016. All right. Let's, uh, let's push play. Cool. Let's hit it. We'll try to sync up. So maybe yeah. we could do it. Three, two, one.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is one that gives me neck pain. <laughs> you want to bob your head. <laughs> I, I forgot how good that song was. <laughs> I also forgot how good that song is because I haven't listened to the Metallica version of that song yeah. in a while. I've been listening more, uh-huh. I listened more to the Orbit Culture one, but yeah, I forgot how good that song was. Oh man, that was great. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I, I sort of tuned out from Metallica after uh, Sane Anger. So I actually have never never heard the song and it feels like it gives me some renewed hope that Metallica is still this, you know, hardcore band. I think they kind of lost it for a little bit, but uh, that was good stuff. I liked it. Yeah, this album, well, the name of the, high, the album is Hardwired to Self-Destruct. Uh, this album is like a little bit of a reprieve for Metallica. They go a little bit back to the old well. So it's compared to St. Anger, like there's no comparison possible. Like this, yeah. is, this, is, this is perhaps one of the best Metallica albums since the Black Album. So uh, if not the best since the Black Album. Hmm. And, and what do you guys think about the whole uh, Black Album, you know, cover series that's uh, that's coming oh, out? Oh, that was, <laughs> have, you, have you guys heard any of the songs? We did. We did. We, we saw a, the Who. Exactly. The Who through the Never. I don't know if you've seen that one. Yes. Uh, my favorite, I, I hate to say favorite. There's two that really stand out for me. And that is Ghost. Uh, the ghost one that that he, that he did, and uh, the Volbeat one. Volbeat, yeah. Yes, Volbeat. You got me there. This is my favorite. Uh, my favorite cover is Volbeat, uh, all the album. But some of the other ones are so out there. I can I can hardly recognize the original song. That's awesome. <laughs> ah, I think it's awesome. I mean, even having people like Miley Cyrus on some of those tracks, like I, I think this is. It just shows that Metallica. I mean, they've reached such a point where they just they don't give a shit. We're going to do whatever we want to do. And if people like it, they like it. And if people don't like it, they don't like it. Yeah, and then we like it. I like it. I, I really like it. So I'm, I'm, I like covers. Yeah. So, you know, I, I so do it. we. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, what about Orbit Culture? I, I don't know anything about this band. They have T-shirts, apparently. They're uh, very cool <laughs> design. I can see that. <laughs> so uh, tell us more. Well, I, I told you guys they're they're from Sweden. They don't have really a genre that you could define them. Uh, I, I I guess you could say they're melodic death metal, but that's not really enough to really yeah no define who they are. Because if you listen to melodic death metal, you listen to them, you'll see some DNA of it, but it's not like full on. Yeah, there's there's some bits and pieces there, but they're kind of their own genre. They're they're they they're very unique from that perspective. I think the thing. That, about Orbit Culture that fans really gravitate towards them is that they've been able to album after album, release after release, surpass what they've done before. So it seems like they're always moving the bar and resetting that bar. And then with a new release, they take the bar down and they move it up another peg or two. And there's never like a, there's never a weak link. Never. Like they're super consistent, really raw. Like their sound feels really raw almost like a garage band sound, but in, in a much better production, if you will. Mm. Um, and I, I see a lot of Metallica in them in terms of that early Metallica, that, that youthful uh, nature that Metallica had in their first records when you just, you're so hungry, you want to get your music out there, you want people listening to you. So they're not jaded yet by the music business. So they have that hunger in them. And I feel like that hunger really... Uh, comes across really well in their music, you know. This is awesome because, like I said, I tuned out after St. Anger, but I was all aboard with, like, Kill the Ball, Ride the Lightning. And so uh, if we get some notes of that, I, I may already be a little bit steered uh, <laughs> in my vote. Have they been around a lot, Orbit Culture? Have they been around for some time? Uh, Orbit Culture has been around, I don't know, for, what, six, seven years, something like okay. that, maybe? maybe a little bit longer. Uh, it's been a gradual process for them. They released the, the cover on, in the same year that Metallica released the song. So the, the two songs came out in the same year, 2016. Um, Orbit Culture, they're currently signed with Seek and Strike, which is a North American label. And I feel like since they've signed with, their, with that label, they're getting a lot more uh, exposure, at least in the North American market, because if you tune into satellite radio, they're getting played on satellite radio. Uh, so while it seems perhaps that their two latest, the latest record and the latest EP are the ones that are kind of showcasing them to the world, there's been a lot of work that's led up to that point. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just that people are finally ca- catching up to them 
specifically since they signed with that new label, because now you have a little bit more uh, of, of a larger world in front of you, which is the North American market. Before, perhaps they were a little bit more based in Sweden, so it was more or of a European the, thing. Around, yeah, the European yeah. area. That's really interesting because we're in Sweden. I haven't heard of Orbit Culture. I've heard only, uh, I've only heard that uh, the, the vocal, uh, and now I forgot his name, that his uh, sound is very similar to, uh, to the Metallica sound in general. Like he can, you, if you close your eyes, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. That's the only thing that I've heard. And I think it was a commenter on our channel that said that, well, if you, because uh, we did the Metallica comparison with someone, or maybe it was mm-hmm. with someone, and they were saying, oh, if you want to hear somebody who sounds like early Metallica, then it's the vocalist in um, Orbit Culture. I forgot their name, but yeah. Yeah, his name is Nicholas. He's a great guy, great dude. I, I We actually know the guys in the band pretty well, so he's a great dude, great guy. Uh, we the, When we discover Orbit Culture, that was the main point of conversation between us. This <laughs> sounds like James Hetfield but with a bigger range. At first, I was stupid, and I thought he sounded uh, a little bit like the guy from Disturbed. Yeah. The, <laughs> but like... Like in certain ways that he said words, they reminded certain me. Certain words. But then you said James Hetfield. Oh my God, you're right. He's the other. He was the question mark face in my head that I didn't know. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> has some resemblance to James Hetfield. Not not every sync because he uses clean vocals and harsh vocals. So the clean vocals there are, there is a similarity there to James Hetfield. Obviously not on the harsh vocals because James Hetfield doesn't do gutturals. He doesn't do harsh vocals. But uh, I'm shocked that you guys are in Sweden and you don't know Orbit culture. I, that's, passports should be revoked right now. The, the thing, well, yeah. <laughs> but I, I do think it is, it's interesting thing what you say about the label, because I mean, in Sweden, we're saturated with amazing metal bands. So it, maybe, maybe they're making a play for the North American market. Yeah, exactly. They maybe are, are, are orienting themselves towards that, um, that market. Depends on the producer and so Like so many business aspects that are basically governing what we see but we we haven't seen them play live they haven't uh, often visited malmo southern sweden where we're based so no but unfortunately I am super curious yes and now. this has been hyped so, up early metallica yes. uh, what got so me are, into metal are, are you guys ready for this <laughs> i'm ready yes, totally all right do the count all right uh three two one
we had this conversation uh, before that even though this is a cover of Metallica, his voice uh, in other songs sounds, sounds more like Metallica than this one. Than this one, yeah. yeah that is so true. the song that, that should true. sound more actually compared to a lot of that is true. It doesn't. He's one hundred percent right. If you guys go check out one of their original videos, one of their original like songs, Saw or uh, Saw Red or like even some from the new EP, he sounds the clean vocal sound way more like James Edfield than on this cover. And I think he did that on purpose. I mean, there were some moments there where he did the, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, exactly. Yeah, I, I thought of that, that. That's, yeah. That, that's very James Edfield. So there, there was a few nods there, but I think on purpose, he wanted to change a few things so that people wouldn't say that, hey, you know, like, what is this, a cover band? Like a Metallica cover no, band? I think so, Saw more. Saw, if you guys go check out Saw, like, totally, you get, if you close your eyes, you're not sure if it's James Edfield or if it's Nicholas singing. This is 100%. what the commenter said about, about the voice, but I was actually super impressed with the drums. My God, the drums. <laughs> Whoops. I, I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but this is like Metallica on Viagra. That's, yeah. that's, that's the best way to put it. It's just so powerful. Yeah. Like even the bass, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the original, the bass is a little bit drowned out by the drums and the guitars, but on the cover, the bass pops a little bit yeah. more in the mix. So you can hear a little bit more of that thumping like bass. In, but in the original, it's more, the guitars are sharper and you get And more, the vocals too. And the vocals too. So you just get more of that guitar and, and drum combo and, it, and it, it does drown out the bass. But in this one, the bass adds a thickness to the chunky yet sharp guitar and his beautiful vocals. I mean... Yeah, and I love when you go, go! Yeah. Those codes are just like, <laughs> yeah, I want to go somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Exactly. So much energy. I feel like I'm like, I'm ready to do something, you know, like after yeah. listening to this. So let's go to the vote. Let's go to is, uh, the vote. Which is super cool because now we have four. And then, of course, all of you down in the comments, let us know uh, what is your favorite. And I think there are some Swedes tuning in that might have some recommendations about more orbit culture. Orbit culture. But... Um, so Antonio, who, who Pedro, maybe let's start with you guys. What do you, where's your vote? I think you know where his vote is going. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love Metallica. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Okay. I, know. I, I love Metallica, but. Orbit culture is your gen. I also don't listen to much Metallica anymore. Yeah. I, I feel like as new music comes up, that's what my playlist inherits. Just more new music. Uh, and Metallica is not really a band I, I, I listen to anymore. I'll go back once in a while, but it's not really a band that I'm. I'm so who gets your vote to right now? I mean, dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I wore the shirt on purpose. I, 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 I'm. I have to go with Orbit Culture, and it's not a slight on Metallica at all because these guys are heavily influenced by Metallica. I just like the 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 Metallica song feels almost like more radio friendly, and this song feels a little bit dirtier. It's heavier. It has a little bit more power, more umph. It, it feels more angry. And because of that, I have to give the nod to Orbit Culture because that's the kind of the sound that I listen to more and that's the sound that I gravitate. I, I want that that power, that raw yeah. sound. Metallica is more a slap to the wrist. This one's a knee to the spine. Yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well said. Well, let me come in here and, and break things up because I'm going to go with Metallica. And... Uh, Precisely, <laughs> precisely along the lines <laughs> that, that you were saying, which is, um, yeah, like it, you sort of listen to so much Metallica, right? And I think what, what happened to me is I haven't listened to so much Metallica in, in quite a long time and, and really haven't really listened to, to Hardwired at all. So hearing that again brings me back more closer to the Metallica sound and viewers of this channel will know that I'm not a huge fan of, of, of growling in general. So for me... I don't know how I missed uh, Hardwired. And again, I just sort of turned off after uh, St. Anger, but I thought that was that was cool. And, and we'll go with uh, Metallica. What about you? I'm going for Orbit Culture precisely yeah. for the reasons that were mentioned by my previous speakers. I love the energy. I love the speed. I like the drums, as I mentioned before. Like exactly, it's like heavy, it's gritty. And it makes me, again, it makes me empowered. You know, like you listen to this. Also, if you listen to the lyrics, hardware to self-destruct is a little bit of a violence in the in the song, right? It's not a happy-go-lucky song. It's like self-destruction. And it makes me, the way the Orbit Culture version makes me feel like, yeah, this is something dangerous. It's something 
you know, happening there that makes me like on alert. Um, so that's uh, that's why it goes my vote. I want to add something to what you said. And if you look at the way the, the cover, the vocals come in, the vocal lines come in, it starts off with clean vocals. And as the song progresses, they become heavier and harsher and heavier and harsher. So if you think about the lyrics of the song and, and you being hardwired to self-destruct, there's a path to that self-destruction that normally starts in a very calm way. And you tend to build towards that moment where you just blow a casket. So even the way the vocals come in, have that sort of buildup that really mm. speaks to the, to the theme of the song which itself. Was, which was very smart. Yeah. I didn't think of this while listening, but now that you mentioned it, yeah, it totally makes sense. And that's also like, it's kind of, it gets you in that implicitly, unconsciously, you're like guided through that. So it was cool, but I really like the Metallica song too. I mean, we always say that it's, it's not a battle in which one is completely a not. It's like a battle of equals. Uh, and Orbit Culture was just slightly better for me and for you too, but not for Michael. That's I'll hold awesome. it down. I'll hold it down for the Metallica <laughs> fans out there in the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was awesome. Awesome to get to hear Orbit Culture. Thank you for this suggestion. Great um, choice. Great breakdown. Great. I had not thought of that progressive yeah, self-destruction built into the uh, vocals. That's cool. So thank you so much for suggesting the battle for being on our channel. And uh, if you if you like covers or if you like this, you're always welcome. If you have any ideas or you're like, I want to try this out on these guys, you can always suggest something. And we're definitely going to be up for any further experiments with uh, musical comparisons. And of course, I think, uh, you know, they're they're. You know a &P already, but uh, head over and see what they've been doing recently. I know uh, you guys have been doing some really cool interviews during the uh, the COVID pandemic. Um, yeah, with, with everybody. We watched all these interviews and uh, it, it's fantastic to really have cool. this. So if you haven't checked out a &P in a while, go, go back, give them some likes, subscribes, all that stuff. But in the meantime, may your sword stay sharp and your quests end in glory.